what a fantastic sight it was back in the daylight, uh, quite a few hours ago now, but look at that superb stuff right at the start, and Alvaro Barret sprinting clear. I mean, there is something about the south of France, but there was a driver, first lap, he had an engine change, started at the back of the field, and contact and out of the race. Championship leader Kevin Estra was out of the race, then Guy Smith went around the outside of the Audi, up at the first corner, then we had battles well, frankly, throughout the field, it was non-stop in those lower order positions just outside the sort of top five positions. This was where Guy Smith then took advantage and passed the 85 car of Step Dusseldorp. Comes up from Jerome D'Ambrosio at the time. The 333 car, unfortunately, had to retire in the hands of Marco Siegfried, which meant, uh, well, it ran into trouble. I don't think it did actually retire in the end, but uh, it took them out of contention. Alvaro Perrin came in, handed over to Gregoire de Moustier, and Andy Merrick set about hunting him down. Yeah, Gregoire de Moustier on his out lap, gets the back sliding around, put our hearts in our mouths, but uh, good teamwork and pit work got the McLaren, and there we see one of the other McLarens, the, the, the boots and the on car spinning. There is the retirement of the second Bentley. We never really find out. I don't think the team yet knew what caused, but there was the pass that took the lead away from Gregoire de Moussier, an audacious move down the inside by Andy Merrick, and once the Bentley was ahead, it never was headed. Similar situation, but this time, Andy Poole was judged to be guilty of an unnecessary uh, contact, and uh, not a lot different except that the, the contact occurred because I don't believe the Ferrari knew that Aston was there. The final round of pit stops were crucial. It brought the McLaren out just behind the Bentley, and that meant we were in for a superb final half well, hour of racing as the night came in. The battle for the lead continued and continued, but Bentley won it. The nerves were on the pit wall, but 1.1 seconds were all that were needed to hold on, and the Bentley crossed the line to take victory. They moved to the top of the championship as we head to the 24 hours of Spa next month. Make sure you join us. Thanks for coming to Paul Ricard.